The future of consciousness is an interesting and complex topic to think about. As our understanding of the brain and the nature of consciousness continues to evolve, it's hard to say exactly what the future holds. But here are a few ideas about how consciousness might change in the coming years. One possibility is that we will gain a greater understanding of how consciousness arises from brain activity. Currently, scientists are working on a number of theories about how the brain creates consciousness, but we don't yet have a complete explanation. If we are able to better understand this process, it could lead to new treatments for disorders that affect consciousness, such as commas or vegetative states. So, right now, scientists are trying to figure out exactly how the brain creates consciousness. In other words, they want to understand the link between brain activity and our subjective experiences, like seeing, hearing, and feeling. There are a lot of theories out there about how this works, but we don't yet have a complete explanation. If we can gain a greater understanding of how consciousness arises from brain activity, it could have some really interesting implications. For example, it could lead to new treatments for disorders that affect consciousness. When someone is in a coma, for example, they are unconscious and unable to respond to their environment. If we could figure out how to jumpstart the brain's consciousness creating processes, it might be possible to help these people regain consciousness. Similarly, people who are in a vegetative state, where they are not aware of themselves or their surroundings, might also benefit from new treatments that could help restore their consciousness. Another possibility is that we will develop new technologies that allow us to manipulate or enhance consciousness in some way. For example, we might create brain-machine interfaces that allow us to control devices with our thoughts or drugs that alter our conscious states in specific ways. These technologies could have a huge impact on how we live and work, and they could also raise a lot of ethical questions. So, one possibility for the future of consciousness is that we will develop new technologies that allow us to manipulate or enhance it in some way. For example, we might create brain-machine interfaces that allow us to control devices with our thoughts. BMIs work by picking up on brain signals and translating them into actions, like moving a cursor on a screen or controlling a prosthetic limb. If we could improve the accuracy and reliability of these technologies, it could have a big impact on how we live and work. For example, someone who is paralyzed might be able to use a BMI to control a computer or a wheelchair. Another possibility is that we will develop drugs that alter our conscious states in specific ways. For example, we might create a drug that helps people focus and concentrate better or one that reduces anxiety or depression. These drugs could have a lot of potential benefits, but they could also raise some ethical questions. For example, if we create a drug that makes people more focused and productive, will it be used as a smart drug to give some people an unfair advantage in school or at work? And if we create a drug that alters people's moods, will it be used responsibly, or could it be abused? It's also possible that we will discover new states of consciousness that we haven't yet experienced. Some people believe that there are other levels of awareness beyond the one we are normally aware of and that we might be able to access these states through meditation or other techniques. If this is true, it could open up a whole new world of possibilities for exploration and understanding. So, some people believe that there are other levels of consciousness beyond the one we are normally aware of. These might be states of awareness that are deeper, more expansive, or more refined than our everyday consciousness. Some people believe that these states can be accessed through meditation or other spiritual practices, while others think that they might be induced through certain experiences or substances. If we are able to access these new states of consciousness, it could open up a whole new world of possibilities for exploration and understanding. For example, we might be able to learn more about the nature of reality, our place in the universe, or the fundamental nature of consciousness itself. Some people believe that these higher states of consciousness can bring profound insights and understanding, and that they can even lead to personal transformation and spiritual growth.
Of course, it's hard to say for sure whether these higher states of consciousness really exist or whether they are just a product of people's imaginations. But it's definitely an interesting area to think about, and it's possible that we will learn more about it in the future. Who knows, maybe we'll even discover some new states of consciousness that we never even knew were possible. It is true that it is difficult to prove beyond doubt that these states of consciousness exist, but many people report having profound experiences which suggest the potential for personal growth and transformation. To stay up to date with our latest videos and to unravel the amazing things about our universe, make sure to subscribe to the Victory Path YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video.